can take my power. Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Of course we need his power. It's the whole reason we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know, like, how much did they pay Kikai to get dogged like that? Like, <laughs> y'all know he's cool, right? Like, I, I gotta, I gotta get it off this photo, cause like the more I look at it, the less serious I can take it. What's up everyone, it's your boy Sign Boy back at it again with another video. And uh, my god, it is so good to be back with some more Sonic content. And it's not even Sonic related this time. It's I like that we we're getting something Knuckles related because I feel like we he hasn't gotten any love in a hot minute. So the fact that he's getting his own show on Paramount Plus is like a treat because I'm not gonna lie, I haven't had a reason to subscribe to Paramount Plus, but now I do, because, like, I can watch the Sonic movies on YouTube, and if I go to my parents' house, my dad is a Sonic fan, too, so I have both of those to watch over there, so just to have, watch something at my house, and I can just enjoy by myself is nice, and it's Sonic-related. On top of that, it satiates my wait for the Sonic movie that we got coming out in December. Um... Anyway, before I get into it, if you guys could, just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate that. I also love the love that you guys are giving in my other videos. Like, it really motivates your boy to want to come back to do some YouTube. But anyway, let's talk about the Knuckles trailer, man, because we just got a lot to talk about, alright? So, according to the little bio that we got for the Knuckles series that's coming out of Paramount Plus, it reads that the new live action series will follow Knuckles that's going to be Aegis Elba on a hilarious action packed journey of self discovery as he agrees to train Wade, which is going to be Adam Paley. I didn't know that was his name. I, I, I recognize him in a couple of stuff, but I just never realized that was his name. But that's going to be his protege and teach him the ways of the Kitna Warrior. I do not make jokes, I make warriors. Oh. Let's go get him. The theory takes place between the films of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and 3. So, it's canon that whatever's going down in the show is going to probably affect what's going to go down in the third movie. Which is pretty cool, because like I said, I need something to satiate my hunger for the Sonic movie, because we haven't had anything since the second movie. And yeah, we have the release date for the third one, but like that's all the way out in December. And it's just February, so like, that's gonna be a little ways off. So to have something in April, that's, that's pretty cool, because from what the trailer showed us, there's gonna be a bunch of Easter eggs. Like, the first thing I noticed was, like, the, um, the goal post that they did for Knuckles. I'm not gonna lie, as a Sonic fan, that made me, like, feel a little giddy inside, because I'm just like, dude, that brought me back to playing the little Genesis games, and whenever you play as Knuckles, you see his goal post. And then the, one of the Ghost. big Easter eggs that I saw that I don't know if a lot of other uh, Sonic fans know, but if you are some hardcore Sonic fan, like, you know your stuff, I know y'all saw him wearing the hat. I know they made that like a kind of a big deal in the little uh, mobile game, but just to have that back again, like, officially in the movies, bro, he, that boy looked clean, man. Like, uh, speaking of clean, if you guys haven't noticed, the animation that they got for the, the live action characters, for just the show looks just as good for the movie like I, I I'm pretty sure as soon as they finished production for the second movie they had to have done something for the Knuckles at least started doing something for the Knuckles show um, so I know they announced that they were in the works of doing it I think maybe it was like either sometime last year or the year before but my bet is that they probably started like as soon as they got done with Sonic 2 and they're like, yo, as soon as we get this done, we can start doing in Sonic 3, or at least, you know, maybe they've divided the team up or something like that, but it's just, 
I, I have no idea what the whole synopsis is gonna be with Aegis Elba being one of the villains. I just am hyped for the fact that like my boy has some more representation besides him doing just some of the songs for uh, the Sonic movie. Like it's just cool to see him in, and he's not doing just like a little cameo. Like he actually has an active role in the Sonic movie, and I'm just like, I I need some more of that. Cause I don't know, I, Kid Cudi, man. I don't think a lot of people give him a lot of respect that he deserves. Cause I, in my opinion, I feel like he's done a lot of good things for the music industry. Uh, definitely has some bangers that got me through some hard times and all that. But speaking of other live action actors, I really hope that the guy that they got playing Wade, I really hope they do something with him because. And the other movies, I feel like they were just kind of constantly use him as a running joke. And I'm like, I, I'm kind of getting tired of him being like the underdog. And I, I just would like to see him finally get a win in something. And even if it's not in the movies, it would be nice to see him get a win in the show. If this whole Knuckles training thing actually works out for him. And I don't know, he toughens up or, he, you know, he can, he gets a gun. Boy, if you don't... I don't... <laughs> I'm talking... Stupid, man. Uh, but the only other thing that I wanted to talk about was the fact that we saw another Echidna, which was the Chief from Sonic Advance 1. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I'm just like, whoa, what, what is he doing here? He looked like he was the owner of that bowling alley in that little scene that they had with uh, Kid Cudi and the, um, I don't know who the actress was, but... What what is going on? I thought Knuckles was supposed to be the only one, unless they're gonna be like, uh, psych, it's all a lie, and he's gonna be like, no, man, I I just escaped because of the great war that happened, and I'd be like, it's kind of a cop out, but okay, it's kind of cool. Um, but what do you guys think about that? Cause uh, I don't know, like, unless I pull it's actually Knuckles in disguise, that's gonna be like a really hard troll, cause they would have to really explain how the other Echidna will survive Chaos. Cause I'm pretty sure Chaos is supposed to be canon inside the movie, but maybe I might be overthinking it. That's, I'm probably overthinking it. But I, I wanna know what you guys think about Knuckles' show that he got coming up. Um, if you guys want to talk about it in a stream or something like that, that'd be really cool. Um, I just, I'm just happy for the fact that I can have a reason to watch Paramount Plus for a month and then just unsubscribe and they'd be like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you just decide to put out the sign movies for free online, then I have no use for you. <laughs> Well, if you guys have any thoughts about the uh, Knuckles show, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, it's your boy, Sonic Boy. Speed my way out of here. And make sure to spin that, that like button. I'll see y'all later. Don't write the music. Let the music write itself. Okay, it's a